Niching down simply means focusing your content on a specific, well-defined topic. It's about being more targeted and specific rather than trying to be everything to everyone. <laughs> the hack is to stack rather than exclude. Let's say you're a content creator on female confidence and photography. Traditional niching down says you've got to pick one, AKA you've got to exclude one, do confidence or do photography. But by stacking them on top of one another, you create a new niche and more specific topic. If we continue with this example, you would speak to how you use photography to boost women's confidence, essentially achieving the same thing, hyper relevance to a smaller audience and more closely aligned to who you are. If you think you can benefit from this niching down hack, I'll share my personal story with topic stacking in the full video. The ultimate niching down hack plus two huge benefits for creators. Let's dive in y'all. Most of my coaching clients have had a tough time with niching down because they feel so passionate about a couple of areas they can't seem to choose between them. Does anybody have that problem? Does this sound familiar? I'm right here. <laughs> Faith or finance, fitness or fashion, young women or purpose, technology or media, leadership or public speaking. And the combinations go on and on and on and on. I want to say this. I generally don't subscribe to the principle of subtraction, but rather addition. He's on to something there. I want to give my personal story here about topic stacking and, and this whole concept of niching down. I started with how it all works, technology, media, leadership. That That's it. <laughs> Those three words, technology, media, and leadership. And I, and I got to share that every coach, every creator colleague, every guru that I spoke to said, you've got to pick one. Those areas are way too broad. And I have to be honest that they were correct. You're right. You're right. So I want to say that right here at the outset, niching down is not a bad thing. They are not incorrect as they say this. I'm simply sharing with you a hack, an alternative method to achieve the same thing. Have you never heard the saying there's more than one way to skin a cat? My unwillingness to drop those topics, right, <laughs> was because those three areas are my life, y'all. Like those areas are my lived experiences like those areas, those terms describe my career. And in those areas, and your boy can speak for hours, your boy can speak for days, your boy can speak ad nauseum because I am literally deep in my bag whenever I'm talking about those three areas. And I want to share a huge side note right here. Fun side note. What I've just shared is the blueprint for selecting a topic, understanding who you are, your profile your struggles and failures that you've experienced and how you've overcome them becomes a blueprint that you can share in three to five minute bite-sized chunks right here on good old YouTube. That's the real definition of intellectual property, but I digress. Let me get back to my story. Rather than cut any of them off, I found the nexus of the three areas. I found where technology, media, and leadership meet, and I began creating content there. I want to repeat that. I found the nexus of the three areas. I found where those things met and I began creating content there. I'm an IT professional by trade and training, but have been in broadcast production for a long time. And these two areas actually really build on one another naturally. Then you add to the mix leadership. And though it took some time, if I'm honest, it took some time, I've been able to carve out a lane for myself that incorporates all three areas. My how-to videos, teaching live streaming, draws from my tech trainer days, but sits squarely in the media space. I used to travel the world uh, and train people on how to set up this finance ERP from a technical perspective. And so I feel like I'm just kind of doing similar things here on YouTube, but now with live streaming. But then if you look at my podcast content, both the Why I Go Live podcast and the Creator Motivation podcast, more affectionately known as morning motivation and media. These are both leadership based content and yet they are closely aligned with both media and technology. I see what you did there. The sub tagline for how it all works is let's figure it out 
together. And that grabs the live portion. It grabs the how-to piece. It, it incorporates the community aspect. Its foundation is in media and technology, and it provides leadership training, tips, tricks, and best practices for a very specific audience, <laughs> the do-it-yourself video creator that learns visually and that needs motivation. And I want to say this, that last part is a major point. There are two huge benefits you get when you topic stack or you niche down. Here's the first. Niching down creates a connection with your audience. When you create about specific topics that are hyper relevant, uh, that are hyper relevant to an audience, they're more likely to appreciate and value your content. And here's number two, niching down positions you as the expert. When you focus on a specific topic, you have the opportunity to really dive deep and share your knowledge in a way that's helpful and informative. And because it's your lived experience, it shows your street cred. <laughs> and what does this all mean? It means more followers who are interested in what you have to say and that's the point well i don't like that sometimes we really want people to come to our channel just for a particular topic but what you really want that unstated need is that you want more followers who are interested in what you have to say topic stacking is my hack to niching down, <laughs> but, but you do need to stay focused on your value proposition and your target audience, not just in general, but for each video you produce. And I wanna share that in this video right here, I share five questions to ask before you create your next video. This is my way of keeping the main thing, the main thing. Click right here to watch and I'll see you over there. Grace and peace fam.